hello guys welcome to another video tutorial by no code africa in this tutorial i'm going to be walking you through how to use uh flutter flow if at all you are a traditional developer all right so this video is created for traditional developers who are you know trying to see how they can you know build better and launch faster using flutter flow so i'm going to just walk you through uh, a couple of features that is designed inside uh, flutter flow uh, that will help you uh, achieve uh, the development of your application better and of course launch it faster so this this video of course is also for no code developers you know so yeah you can also learn a whole lot from this because uh, the idea is just to expose the traditional developers to the amazing features that uh, that can be found that are found inside uh, Flutterflow. All right. So basically, this is the website for Flutterflow, and I'm going to be walking you through how to use uh, Flutterflow as a developer. All right. Let's go to uh, this application. All right. This is a real estate application uh, that was built entirely without writing codes using Flutterflow. And uh, let's let's begin like this. I'm going to walk you through. Uh, the different features here that most developers most traditional developers would like to see so for this application that's the flutter flow as an application right what it does it is that it helps you to build uh, mobile and web applications without writing codes faster now um, you can also write codes okay you can also write codes to you you know implement features uh, that you might not be able to like implement directly with the widgets found inside Flutterflow and that's what I want to introduce you to so we have um, before I even continue I would like it I would like to show you something so if you click here where we have um, this particular icon all right the code icon here so you see uh, these different uh, you know features you can view code this view code means view the code that makes up this particular application all right all right so view codes so uh, as a user of uh, Flutterflow what you just do is you drag and drop the widgets these are widgets there's a text widget an image widget uh, button widget and text widget and all of that right so you just drag these uh, widgets around and then uh, the codes are being created by Flutterflow all right for you so if you click here and say view code and uh, you will just get to see the result of your drag and drops here all right and then if you go through uh, you know you just click through the screens you will see the codes rendered here all right so it's basically loading right yeah so let me just click here and switch it off all right so I don't know the code is supposed to show here I think it's just my network not loading as fast as it should so I would just keep on tapping this real fast um, okay so the codes are supposed to appear here right just a couple of seconds let me reload this real quick all right so I, I want you to see the codes that makes up the this particular pages right I want you to see how it looks like so that you can understand uh, the beauty of Flutterflow. All right. So I think actually it's actually my network because it's loading like real slow. So let me switch it real quick. Okay. So this is how the code renders. Like this is how it shows for each of the screens that makes up your entire application. Right. So for the splash screen, this is how it shows and this is how it looks like. And then here we have the product tour and this is how it looks like. That's these are the codes and uh, this is the page this is how it looks like and so just like uh just like uh you could you know uh initially find your codes you know being displayed in let's say your text editor for example uh vs code this is how it looks like too and then this is like the result from your you know simulator for instance all right so uh this is how beautiful it is and i really created this video so you can actually get to appreciate uh the beauty of flutter flow even for you as a developer all right so now let's go ahead and check some other thing all right let's go back to the main project itself and then check other features now remember this video is created for developers traditional developers because we want them to understand that flutterflow was not just created for only people who want to you know learn how to build apps without coding it was also built for you know built for uh people who already know how to code but they want to be able to code faster or work faster build faster and of course launch faster okay 
So now I've already showed you that and that's this is how I went there. I clicked on this icon and then I did view code. And also after you finish building your application inside Flutterflow, you can go ahead and just download the APK. All right. You can even do a Flutterflow C CLI. All right. It's like super exciting, really. Now, uh, let's go ahead and just check uh, some other functionalities that I'm sure will interest most traditional developers. Now, uh, let's say you already have your backend somewhere else, right? You have your backend somewhere else and and you just want to use uh, Flutterflow as, uh, you know, to just build your UI, right? Just the, the main UI and then just uh, connect it via APIs. Now, Flutterflow already has that feature here. So you can go ahead and then create your API call, all right? And then, uh, you know, create uh, a name for your API call, set up every single thing you, you need to do, connect it with your API, and then use Flutterflow just as your ui like you know some 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 platform that provides you with just the ui okay so you can actually really do that and it's super interesting in fact for uh core flutter developers right you you will find using flutterflow really exciting because you will be able to like create uh, an application way faster than you would have done via uh the use of vs code okay so let's go ahead and check something else i really wanted to make this sure that this video is very short so it can be exciting enough now let's look at some other thing right uh developers usually uh commit their codes to github repository you know as they keep building their application like for instance now we have a lot of pages for this particular application, like lots of pages. In fact, you can check out the storyboard. This is the storyboard showing all the connections, right? So it's like very, very complex. All right. So let's say you want to go ahead and just commit after you've built your application using Flutterflow. You want to commit all the codes. That's uh, all of these codes. You know, you can also download your codes. All right. You want to connect your code to GitHub repository. Now, this is the feature here. This is the button. All right. All you just need to do is go ahead and click connect to github repository but before you do that you need to go ahead and do a setup a basic setup now let's assume that you already have like a github account if you don't have one go to github.com and create an account well this is for developers so they should already have github accounts okay so cool you have a github account and you want to go ahead and then just commit this particular code to your github repository so what you need to do real quick is you have to just come over here and create your new repository repository all right so i did create one not long ago that's for this one so let me just click it and show you how it works now these are all the the codes that have been pushed directly from flutterflow all right so um now let's go ahead and just let's go back and then try to do something now i'm going to go ahead and click here to create a new repository and it's going to be real estate all right so i'm just going to say real estate uh app okay real estate application and then the next thing i need to do is i can write a description if i want of course i know you already know how to do this and i can make it public or private in this case i want to make it private okay then after i've done that i can just go ahead and click on create repository now once i create my repository all right i have the link to my repository that's that's what we have here as you can see there's nothing inside my rep repository for now all right so i can just go back to flutterflow go to uh my settings and then uh in my settings i'm gonna see uh github all right so this is it i need to put my put the github repository url here and so i can just put it here and then do the associate uh, repo but before you do this you might encounter an error if at all you don't follow the steps that was uh that, that you need to do here you need to like install the flutterflow gtop app to the repository to your entire you know to your entire account all right so you need to like click on this video uh sorry it's a link just click on this and then click on configure when you click on configure you will be able to see all the different uh, accounts that you have you know so you can just go ahead and click on configure here and then after that you click on save all right so you just go ahead and click on save this is going to uh give flutterflow access to your uh gtop repositories all right so then after that you can now go ahead and just click on associate repo and then it will pop up this particular window you just go ahead and click on sign sign in with gtop uh, then you will get uh, some sort of information asking you to uh, provide uh, Flutterflow with access. I already did that. That's why it's not showing anymore. But now I have an information that says success. That means I have been able to connect my GitHub repo to my Flutterflow. All right. So now I can push 
my uh, development, like all my codes to uh, my repo on GitHub. All right. So this is how it is. What I just need to do now is I'll just go ahead and click here and then tap on push to repository. And then I need to like uh, put like some sort of uh, commit message. All right. So I can just leave it like this. Updating to letters flutter flow output for real estate real estate app something like that okay so you can always like put whatever it is that you want to put there of course you already know how to use this then click on push wait for a couple of seconds it says you're pushing to github after you've waited for a couple of seconds you will be able to uh see uh the files that you've already pushed to your github repo so uh let's just wait a couple of seconds and we will go back here and check what we have done okay so let's wait for some 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 more seconds okay but while we are waiting for these to complete i want to show you something else that will interest you as a developer right so let's say uh you want to implement some features inside your flutterflow project and you don't have access to the exact widgets that uh that you need in your application what you can do is you can just uh you know go ahead and come to where we have the custom code all right for that flow allows you to write uh codes for widgets for actions and for functions all right so if at all you want to execute a particular function all right or you want to create a certain widget that does not exist in the list of a uh, list of widgets found inside flutterflow then you can go ahead and write codes and create them yourself all right so like for instance we have this widget here for phone validator all right then we also have uh, that's the this is a custom widget for phone validator and then we also have uh, a custom functions to calculate number of months all right then we have a custom function to calculate calculate uh, average ratings all right now this is this is one of the most beautiful aspect of uh flutterflow that is created for developers and of course no code developers too so uh, i believe that you are like super excited about these and you would be considering using flutterflow uh, as your new uh, development environment to build application faster and uh, to build application better and of course launch faster um, i'm actually super excited about this tutorial because i believe that with this video uh we'll have more developers uh you know you know giving uh flutterflow a chance and beginning to use a uh, flutterflow to build applications better and launching faster so we have uh this information successfully pushed to github so now we have pushed our application our codes to github repository so i can just go ahead and then refresh this real quick and okay so not here i can just go ahead and refresh this real quick and i will see the the codes that have been committed so this is it it just says noun all right updating to latest flutterflow output for real estate app all right so now i've pushed every single thing here all right now just with one branch of course so i hope that you are excited about this video if at all you're excited and you like what uh was being shared in this video remember to subscribe to this channel and also like this video for more all right uh, drop comments for me in the comment section and i'll try to see how i can respond to them as soon as possible thank you very much and uh, if you think there's something else i should have added to this video that i have skipped you can also drop drop them in the comment section and i will make plans to make an update to this particular video in the nearest future thank you very much and have a great time See you in the next tutorial. Bye for now.